warning this ugly looking thing right here is a piece of dried banana fiber this video is about to expose you to the beauty you can get out of it hi welcome to amanda's street my name is amanda and on this street or on this channel we actually talk about life's priority things i'm talking health i'm talking wellness and i'm talking nutrition but not just speaking about it. We would love to adventure it, and that's why I bring you wellness adventures on this channel. If you're the kind of person that has been looking for a more fun way to experience wellness and health, then this channel is for you. Do stick around and watch today's adventure. So today's adventure has been sponsored by the big heart and the mega generosity of an enterprise down in Uganda called Maweje Creations. Maweja Creations is special because they are looking at causes that go beyond their personal needs as human beings. They are looking at causes that actually tend to the world, to the earth, to the universe, and to the generations that will come after us. I know by now you're dying to know what they do. These are an eco-friendly enterprise that are turning waste, banana waste to be specific, into something beautiful and something tangible and something sellable and something to be proud of now if you've still not gotten the point of what i'm trying to say banana waste uh bananas when bananas grow they form a huge bunch there are different clusters of bananas that form a huge bunch of bananas that you will see in this next um in a few moments from now so Usually the branches or the, the handle for the banana bunch is just thrown away as waste or if it's used to make a, a dish called matoke in Uganda, uh, which is such a delicacy for Ugandans, then after it has been used, usually it's disposed of and nothing ever comes out of it. But Maweja Creations has gone ahead to say, no, we're not going to be throwing away important things that can come out of this banana waste. So it turns from this, this is usually the waste that comes out of, you know, eating bananas, using bananas, we usually have something that looks as mm, undescribable as this, or something that looks as confusing as this, not very exciting, right? If you asked me, it looks like this came from a shrine, a witch doctor's shrine, to be honest, that's what I think, but you come from this by my Wedge Creations, you know, ingenious creativity. And then you go to making beautiful art creations, some of which include what I'm about to show you next. But let me first take you through the story of my Wedge Creations. It was uh, started by the, you know, brilliant mind of a one young man called Maweje Muhammad Dima. And for him, his, his, cry the outcry that he had or the outcry that he thought he could step in and you know work on is people not being employed in uganda you know community people in the grassroots are suffering to have even the most basic of needs including food including medicine for their children including clothing like poverty has just stricken so badly and that's what pushed him to go into this eco-friendly um initiative to produce beautiful art creations from banana waste. I happen to have a food blog. I will put the link to that food blog in my description of this video. So you can head down there and also visit that page. I, 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 I feel like I pour my heart out there through writing uh, just about food, you know. And it's quite interesting when I look back on what I wrote. So head down there and do, do take a read as well. So I happened to feature him on my food blog after I discovered him via social media, specifically Facebook, I discovered his page. And I was so impressed with the work he does. Now, before I could even get to, I wrote the food blog and you know, I just shared the link with him because I wanted him and his uh, enterprise and the people he works with to know that they are doing such a great job and I wanted him to know that you know he should keep it going and it should be something that we should expand so I wrote on it so other people that read this particular blog could actually be inspired to do things such as what he has done 
and you know just protect our earth and just cater to not just us but the people that will come after us that's our children and that's why i wrote the blog anyway i did send him this link because of course i wanted him to beam with pride and hope and joy you know about the things that he's doing and then of course what happened next is I wanted to order, you know, make my own order of what I was going to get from him because he had so many beautiful things to show, including bags, you know, clocks and watches and all these great things. So I was just about to make my order when, you know, um, I was contacted and told there is a delivery for you from my wages. So I was like, okay, what did I do in the first place? And you know the person that I was talking to that was trying to coordinate the delivery said, you know what you did? And I'm like, I actually was doing it because you guys are doing a great job. I should be thanking you or sending you a delivery. So what's happening here? Guess what? They sent me a package, you know, just gifted me, even with all the great work they are doing, they take the time out to be generous to some people and you know, just bless someone out there. I was so blessed by their generosity. I want to show you what they got me. So, unpacking from this, remember, I was able to get a clock. Now, this clock is made out of banana fiber. Like, all you see inside there is banana fiber. All this detail, I even wrote my name there, you know, <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, you guys are doing things over and above. So, all this is banana fiber. I found it really, really exciting i found it something so beautiful that they would turn banana waste into something as awesome as this so i was able to get a clock my house actually did have a clock up until now the one that we had was broken it had mirrors in it so it had to just be disposed of and so i was able to replace it with one that's more eco-friendly they didn't stop there by the way and then this is a holder. Apparently you can put in your stationery, say uh, pens, pencils, you know, scissors, pairs of scissors, put them there and then have it at your desktop. You can put your jewelry inside there. You can put your combs inside there. It's just a holder, you know. I'm sure you can put a nice flower bouquet if you want to and just, you know, have a decor, better decor in your house. But decor that is also eco-friendly. I don't know how they do like they pay attention to design eh? you would not believe that all this is you know banana fiber or something that came out of banana fiber they didn't stop there i actually got um some pretty amazing earrings as well i will try and bring it closer so you can see but there's this kind it kind of looks like a little horn but it's made out of banana fiber that's amazing isn't it I got this one that has little you know diamond shaped um diamond shapes actually but all that is banana fiber now if this is not incredible you guys you need to explain to me what incredible actually means because i think you know this is just too awesome to be um ignored or too awesome to be neglected i think we should you know hype these kinds of people more because they have such a big heart and they spread love to the world and that's what we need right yeah so i'm just trying to get these earrings to fit ah there you go yeah so they came from getting something that was deemed as worthless to something to some things that are so much more than we could ever imagine so the list includes holders jewelry um clocks I have seen them gone on to try and make up face masks that are made of this banana fiber that they're still working on. They say they are not yet on the market. They have, you know, little uh, passes or coin bags made out of this banana fiber. I mean, I am so impressed. I even found they have uh, banana fiber fabrics. So next we'll be able to make, you know, outfits out of banana fiber or maybe make, uh, you know, mats doormats and sitting outside mats and yoga mats out of this banana fiber it's really amazing i just want to send out a special thank you to Mawaje creations i will put a link to how you can get them on social media as well they are quite active there so you can talk to them you know order from them just send them a message of hope because they're doing awesomeness 
and I hope also this inspires you that whatever little crazy idea you thought you had in your head as long as it's good for you and good for your community please head out of your house and start on it because the world needs more than we are seeing today the world needs more love the world needs more creation the world needs your imagination well that was our adventure of today i hope it you know just started itching something within you when it comes to your creative side do not ignore that little child that little child on the inside that little child is amazing that little child will bring change in this world so until next our next adventure i ask that you share this video i ask that you you know engage with me talk back to me are uh, down in the comment section like the video the more videos you like the more youtube can spread the videos to other people as well and so you know more people will get to see this and of course subscribe the channel is for you so let's grow it right well until our next adventure remember that wellness is an adventure so make it fun for yourself enjoy it until next week bye bye Yeah, my name is Beck. Oh, uh, hey, you hit me, take a walk. Don't like me, take a walk. Sagala negative vibes, only positive. Uh.